Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to, uh, Fallout. So, we have some problems that I've been putting off in favor of lighting things. So, for starters, we need more crops. We also need people. It's a pain in the butt. Currently, I've got a bunch of crops up there, and why do I have my ripper at? I have no idea. And we've got a couple other issues. For starters, let's, I guess, let's put a, uh, let's put a window on this. Unfortunately, I'm in a, I, I'm at a, a, I have a different setup right now, and it's messing with me just a little bit. I don't have the usual, like, arm space that I usually do, so I've got, like, table bits sticking into my arm. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Um, but whatever, it's only a couple more days of this, and this window does not want to... Oh, there is a window in there. It just was not obvious. Okay, so we need to figure out farmland. Now, I could grow crops here. I could. I don't think that's a good idea. They're kind of... It's not great. We also need to get everybody vault suits. I also have a bunch of new people. We need to fix all these problems. So, for starters, let's go upstairs. I could have, like, a substantive greenhouse system up here. That's one option. Might not be a bad option, put it like right here, go from there. Currently I'd have to light it up and build it up and stuff like that, but it wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's let's take a tour of the rest of the vault, actually. I haven't really been through it recently. Like, the last time I actually went through the vault, I was, well, I was cleaning things. And I think it's about time to, to take a look around. We need to find some good farmland. Obviously, there isn't good. We got this section here. Not bad. I might try and bypass the, uh, bypass the stuff entirely. Let's take a look around. Got a lot of things. Concrete bottle, uh, concrete bottles. This whole, like, limestone area. And then this stuff. I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't scrap all the stuff here. Alright. I guess I just didn't go in. Because, yeah, we have a ton of space, and I'd like to use it for something. I'm just not entirely sure what yet. Because we've got... I mean... Hmm. Don't know. Because we've got these tunnels, and these tunnels are kind of inconvenient. They're not what I'm looking for. They're not super useful to me. I mean, I might be able to use them for something. I'm not sure what yet. Also, just trying to see where things are. Did I? I must have come through here, I guess. I just never scrapped any of it. Okay. Well, it's fine. Uh, let's not get rid of these tubes. Not all of them are scrappable. Oh, really? Those are actually snappable objects. Huh. I'll have to see if I can put those in myself. Yeah, the problem is I've got stuff like all this. Kind of, what do you do with all this, all this stuff? And I don't really have an answer for that one. I guess just clear it all up. Go from there. Somebody was angry at me because I used too many cheats. You don't sandbox mode very easily without cheats, man. I don't know. <laughs> I, it's like uh, playing My Minecraft creative mode. I'm not going to cheat when it comes to like... Uh, I'm not going to cheat when it comes to... To like... Playing the game. I guess I did T TCL through that one door. That is, that would be a fair accusation. I'll, gi I'll give it that. But at the same time, I really just did not want to deal with that. I don't even know. Okay, uh, there's a lot of junk in here. Like, honestly, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be using this section. Like, you can't clean it up. I, I really wish they had, a had like, uh, 3D models for Unbroken Vault. Uh, in these sections, you know, kind of the clean end results and that would have been a reason to like keep the overseer around, you know, giving giving the player goals and 
you know, ways to upgrade everything. Because yeah, we've got this, like, storefront here. I could just scrap all. I'm just a little worried that'll mess up what I already have. That's kind of the issue. If I accidentally scrap all, all of the things I've already built, I'm gonna feel real stupid. Luckily, we could uh, just reload, but still. Don't really want to do that. Okay. I think by scrapping this, it's going to give us the white void portal. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. That's probably for the best. I'll get rid of it. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use any of this for. Also, there's no reason why there should be concrete on the outside of this. Because this does actually exit us out into Boston. But, whatever. Who am I to judge? Okay, let's store all of these things. I'm just going to keep scrapping. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking here. Because we've got the really, really tall vault. Which can totally be used for stuff. Didn't realize there was a sea captain's hat up here. And some chem and a statue. Well, one way or another, we finally got a sea captain's hat. I apparently have a lot of things in my inventory. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I don't know if it's an obligation. Oh yeah, we look great. I don't know if it's an obligation or something, but every every overlord, mayor, or overseer dude needs to have some kind of dumb, uh, dumb hat to go along. And it's always it's it's always the slightly military looking hat that, like, nobody would wear unless they were actively in service or proud of service. I don't even know. Okay, so we came from that direction. Let's go here. <sighs> the problem is I was hoping those two big chambers would connect to each other and they don't. Which kind of sucks. Huh. So I can't get rid of this one rail. Weird. We've got all these rocks here. I'm gonna get rid of them just because. Honestly, this entire part's probably gonna get covered up in potential tube townage. There's actually a lot of stuff that I have not uh, scrapped here. So, what I'm th hmm, what I'm thinking is like I think this one up ahead is a much bigger area. Wouldn't be a bad idea to start putting on some kind of greenhouse operation. Something big and something, you know, crappy. Because we're definitely going to need a ton. Uh, ideally, you know, I want this vault to be quote-unquote self-sufficient, but I also want it to be, like, you know, lucrative. Because eventually I'm going to take us off god mode. I'm going to be trying to go for resources-ish. I don't know. Part of it is, like... By the time I'm done with all of this, you you guys might just be so sick of um, of me being in this vault that there's something else. Also, somebody was asking, um, actually many people have been asking, where the heck uh, are the other series? They're kind of on hold. However, uh, I, I think I'm going to be continuing... I think I'm going to be continuing uh, King of the Wasteland with uh, with Overlord Dude. Uh, come Nuka Cola, which is, if I remember right, in a couple of days, which is a little scary for me because I'm not prepped for that in the slightest. So we've got a ton of limestone here. A ton of that. Oh, these are actually connected, interconnected a little bit more than I thought. I might actually be able to run a tunnel through here. Like maybe just up a little bit or a walkway or something. Because I don't really think I'm going to be able to do much else with it. But this way we could actually have uh, multiple sections connected. I just have to remember to reload between. Because I think that's how you bypass the horrible, horrible, ugly nonsense that we were dealing with earlier. That, like, weird glitch tunnel system. Ugh. Hmm. Sleepy. But that's okay. Because i got to go to bed early tonight anyway. 
Because tomorrow is the actual move-in day. And I'm both excited and terrified. Oh. This is like the big section from North Sector. One of the two. But it's not the, the real big entryway, if I remember right. Well, we've got several, but this one does hook up properly. So that is useful. Part of it is I don't want my people to be going through, like, uncut stone. If that makes sense. Like, it would feel really weird to have a vault that you don't... That you, like, you're walking around in, in rough materials and stuff. Oh, right. We have the train station here, which is totally useless to me. Because I can't get rid of half of this trash. Huh. There's some funky texture business here. Okay, I know this is another one of those white zones and stuff. Never mind, it's not. It's a super dark fog. Wow, that looks like some kind of evil portal thing, to be sure. Like, I feel like monsters are going to be rolling out of there. Maybe they do. Maybe maybe that's what, where this vault actually gets attacked from. Uh, we're definitely going to need to eventually try and figure out how to get get attacked here. I've, I've got this kind of like bad mojo where nobody ever seems to want to raid any of my holdings. No matter who, what, where, or why. Yeah. The sad part is, I'm, I'm speaking about setting up this whole system and having my people walk through it. I, as far as I can tell, nobody is using Tube Town. Oh, you know what? I bet this interconnects to that area, that other big area. A lot more, like, effectively, yeah. Okay, so they actually connect pretty well via this. And this is the biggest tunnel, so I, I think we'll build the, uh, the bot botan botanical garden? No, the greenhouse. Hydroponic farm? Hydroponic farm seems reasonable. I should see if I have uh, some kind of sprinkler system I can develop here. That'd be interesting. Okay, so let's do... Sadly, my microphone is in the way of me using the arrow keys here. Uh, which is kind of a downright nuisance. Uh, let's see. So honestly, we kind of want this to be a big area. Can I put a doorway here? Do we want to do atrium, though? I guess, let's see. Can we fit a, a double high segment in here? Yeah, mostly. Like, there are some points where it doesn't. But, okay. I will admit I was kind of hoping not to, just because I like the look of Tube Town. And fitting a botanical garden in there might not be a bad idea. Uh, not a botanical garden, a, um, uh, my hydroponic farm. But at the same time, I guess this will do. Probably should actually have, um... Let's get rid of that. Let's do hallway to doorway. Looks a little bit more door-like. Okay, there we go. So, some people told me that I'm a dummy. This is truth. This is truth. Let's see if it fits. So it fits, it just doesn't fit well. Damn. Yeah, so what you're supposed to do is fit these two atriums together this way. But, that's three high. Yeah, so we can't do that here. We'll have to find a better spot for it at a later date. For now, let's just do, let's just do two high stuff. Because we know for a fact that'll fit. Pretty well. Okay. And apparently... <laughs> now. 
Alright, uh, oh god. I don't even, I don't even understand the point of some of these. I guess this might, oh, this probably hooks up fairly well to the railing system, doesn't it? Oh, huh, maybe that, that would actually solve some of my problems. Well, whatever, I don't care. Uh, it's ugly anyway. Let's do... Let's lay out the floor first, I think, on this this sucker. It's going to take a little while longer. See, it looks like we got a little bit more space. I really wish you could actually, like, sort these based on, like, use. Like, a, a quick bar would be really nice for this. I've been playing, you know, a lot of Starbound and a lot of... Uh, scrap mechanic lately, and both of those have that feature. You don't make a s sandbox game without a quick bar, do you? Well, I guess they did. So I guess there's that. Oh, it's real hard dealing with that. Let's see, we don't want workshop grid snapping. Okay, there we go. So by pressing F2, we don't have to worry about collision anymore. I knew it's... If I'm having trouble getting something to fit, usually pressing one of the F keys almost always solves the problem. Just still a bit awkward. I wonder, can I go up to third floor here? No, it's still going to be an issue. Maybe over here, but not worth it. Let's see, we're probably going to want a door here. I'll probably just have tubes running between. Yeah, I think this is a great a great spot for the uh, for the garden. Just r run this along the side. We'll have like a walkway going down the center or something. And then what I might do is like a second tier along the sides for more crops. Like you go upstairs and you get to them. It's tempting. The problem is this isn't an odd wide floor room, which is kind of inconvenient for what I'm doing here. Because it's easier to center things that way. Because this door is not in a good position. Oh, well. Could be worse, I guess. Let's see. And yeah, we're going to have a little bit of stone wall coming through, but... What else do I do here? <laughs> well... Uh, every once in a while, I think I get a glimpse of that, like, horrible eye glitchiness. And I'm like, please, do, please, no, don't do not do this to me again. That, that really hurt last time, actually. I wonder, could I actually expand it out here? I could. I think we've got enough space for that. Let's see, right here? Yeah, looks like we're going to be able to fit another wall segment in here. Do you hear? Looking good. I'm really looking forward to this week. Uh, obviously, you know, moving out has been kind of a giant pain in the keister as far as, like, generating content goes. Uh, but then, after this week, it goes back to normalcy. You know, I'll be I'll be available to stream and record constantly. Uh, Bird, Bird will be back, finally. <laughs> oh, man. I... It's, it's hard recording without your, like, co-op people. I've had a lot of complaints lately about, like, where are your friends? Go back to playing with them. And I'm like, no, I, I can't. I can't force them to show up. Oh, like, for the longest time, um, I've been doing a series on... on Starbound. Which is, you know, super fun. Uh, but, you know, it started as a co-op series and then couldn't record with people anymore, so I was just like, alright, let's just go solo while we wait for the guys to show back up and it took like two weeks and I was gonna get a ton of comments being like you know this is dumb go go get X and it's just like I can't I can't I'd love to but I can't uh, and I get the same thing with like scrap mechanic and stuff and it's just like man I, I love YouTube and but sometimes people's schedules really just don't feel like matching up and, you know, motivations, too. I've definitely run into YouTubers uh, that, like, aren't interested in... You know, aren't interested in stuff. Can I slap this down as a ceiling? No. I was kind of hoping I could. Oh, well. It'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just regular ceiling. Which does not work. 
I'm really surprised that, you know, we've got this, like, prefab wall system here. I guess what I could do is just build one right here. There we go. We're not even going to be touching that second floor. But it gives me a good snapping point to work off of. Or not. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, well, ceiling and floor is close enough. Should probably go back to TGM. The one thing I don't like about this the tile set is that the the ceilings are they actually reduce the amount of vertical space you have, and it's not great. Oh yeah, now now that I'm on the uh, uh, the topic of airing grievances, uh, I don't know. I, I try not to do these things too often, but it happens more than I'd like. Um, I, I've i gotten a couple of comments, actually a ton of comments over the course of, uh, uh, a ton of comments over the course of all of my Fallout series. Uh, like, actually, kind of surprisingly large amounts, really. Um, of people angry at me for not knowing what I'm doing. Didn't realize I was that bad at this game, but, like, a lot of people uh, were giving me flack for not completing uh, Fallout 4 and not, not knowing how things work. And I'm always confused about that, because I, I consider myself to be not knowledgeable about this game, but, like, do you need to be knowledgeable to, like, put this stuff together? I guess there are a couple of mechanics that you don't know, like, the rating formula and stuff, but, like, I got a comment the other day being like, you know, I don't think you should be doing this if you don't know... Uh, if you don't know what you're talking about, I'm like, but how do I learn that? Do I just like sit there studying in silence, uh, after the fact? It always boggles my mind a little bit, um, in this situation because it's just like, so what do I do? Do I just like, do I just not? Oh yeah, let's get rid of that one. I don't know, I don't know what people want. That's okay because I don't need to. Oh, this... This is correct, but it does not look correct. It's it's this dumb gap between floor, uh, ceiling, and wall. I haven't seen anything that fixes that. I've got. I guess we've got like trim, but it only snaps to the outside. Which is really weird. Like, that kind of would look nice. But yeah, there's no, like... There's no version of this for right here. And I could kind of manually jam it in there. But I don't think that'd be a good thing. I don't think that'd be a good thing at all. Okay, we should probably cap this off and put in a door. I don't know what's gonna exactly fit in here, but still. No idea what fits best here. Well, I guess I'll do that. There's that, there it is. Kind of would be nice if the blocks intelligently changed based on if you had a ceiling or not on top. That'd be really cool. There's a lot of features like that. Because, yeah, there'd be... You could totally program it that it would detect if... If, uh, ceiling met wall. And it's like, oh, let's add in the little, like, trimmy parts. Like, right there. It's really strange, honestly. That they don't have something like that. But then again, it really does feel like, um... These DLC packs were... <sighs> I don't know. I'm gonna say, it doesn't feel like they're exactly... Not planned. Ah, oh, what am I thinking? It feels like these workshop... The workshop in general is kind of like somebody's cool idea that they couldn't quite get the rest of Bethesda to... to, um... like, get on board with. And so... Here we go. 
I don't know. Like, I, I totally would have paid, like, 20, 30 bucks for, like, a really substantive sandbox uh, mode. And or, like, all of the DLCs. If all of the DLCs actually, like, worked really well, count me in. Uh, when I say, like, worked really well, I mean, like, you know, I... I would totally pay for, like, whole loads of sandbox, um... Like, sandbox stuff, if I could. But I can't, because they kind of only made, like, a partial thing, and it's weird. Okay, so we want a corner. Let's see, I should probably go back and make the, uh, the hydroponic farm. But I just kind of want to fill this out. We could actually have, like, a room in here, come to think of it. How do I do it? I guess we do something like this. Is there a prefab corner doorway? No, it doesn't look like it. Wrong corner type. Uh, let's see. We probably so want something like uh, this prefab wall. And then I can do... Oh... Oh, let's not do that. I guess I could just do something like, uh, the basic tunnel. I don't know what it is about this game and textures, but sometimes I just want nothing to do with it. We're just gonna back through this area. Hopefully it'll be better by the time we come through later. Yeah, so this, I mean, it doesn't look exactly perfect, but it looks okay. Actually, question, can I fit, can I fit the, uh, can I fit this in, right here? Nah, it doesn't snap. Because this actually would look kind of appropriate here, but of course not. Why would it, Wanderbot? Okay, let's go get the, let's go get the farm set up. Yeah, we want a second floor on this. I'll have to figure out where to put the staircase. What? 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 Okay. For some reason, just didn't want to didn't want to snap snap there or things. I don't know. Yeah. So we'll, <sighs> ladders would be nice. Why are there no ladders in this game? <laughs> oh, it would make so much sense. Okay, whatever. Yeah. So let's get just this. I think. Um, yeah, we'll do it. This is faster. Of course, these actually need to be snapped into position. Oh! I knew I, I knew I shouldn't have done that. I can just snap the floors in. Okay, we're not going to mess with that section. It'd also be kind of nice if it, like, you could point a cursor at a part and be like, you know, I want to put something here, and it's game's like, okay, and kind of, like, gives you the options of things that actually would make sense. Contextual snapping. But again, that's too complicated. Uh, that's too complicated for this, and it sucks. I hope they actually do decide to keep with the workshop for... For um, Fallout 5, whenever that happens. Like, it's actually... Oh, there is a prefab corner. Didn't even realize. Uh, or probably did, but still. But, like, they keep with the workshop, and they actually make it into something worth... Like, worth using, you know, improve the AI. Because I really would like the ability to make a working vault all the time. Like, I actually couldn't care less about the, the main plot of this game. Uh, couldn't care less about a lot of it, really. And it would be, it would be nice. I don't know. Okay. So we want these here. I don't really know why I'm having the second floor. It just feels... 
you know, it feels appropriate to have a second walkway with a bunch of crops on it. I just gotta figure out how to get up to it. All right, this is gonna be, this has gotta be a corner. Oh, well that's awkward. Unless, let's double down. Let's double down hard. I'm gonna... I'm actually going to do that. There we go. So it's a little weird, but this way we have this kind of like upper area. I'll probably put like some kind of botanist thing there. And this way we can have a staircase going straight up to an upper floor. Like right here. Just as you come in. For some reason, does not want to snap there. Actually, let's get rid of that. Store these. Let's just build another, uh, another one of these and then I'll have the staircase going up to it. This isn't pretty. The problem is I want this entire, like, area here to be a... This entire central area to be, like, a crop. And this staircase is kind of cumbersomely large. Let me see. I mean... We don't want to do it there. Maybe if we put it here, because there's still a little bit of space. In this section. Okay. Let's do this. Staircase. Here. Might not have enough room for it, unless... It might be a bit tight. Let's see. No, it's not that tight. Okay, cool. So what we can do is just this. One there. Can't have a corner here, so I guess I'll just put one of these in, and then I'll have wall going across the top. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, it's got to be ceiling floor. I forget. And then if I just do... Question. If I just do one of these... Oh, shoot. That doesn't work at all. There's no opposite version of that. It almost... It almost works. Huh. Well, this is a problem to have. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we'll be okay. Hmm. So if I put this here... Right there. Okay. I, I think we'll be able to fit it all in. There we go. Okay. It works. So we've got a little staircase cubby situation. The only thing I don't like about it is this, like, kind of weird spot right here. What I'm thinking is... I guess I can have... No, we don't want one of those. We want one of these right here. And then I'm actually going to put a ceiling floor. I don't know. 
if it needs to be here, but it just, it feels sort of right-ish. And then, I guess we'll just do a basic floor down here. Sandbox is hard. And the other thing is we could do something like that. That kind of look, that actually looks pretty reasonable. Except for the fact that, you know, this floor segment looks wrong as a result. But there, we kind of end up with like a, a half pillar next to the stairway. Seems reasonable. Actually, we probably want to do the same thing here. What? Ah. Oh. Well, that's some snappage. Don't know. I'll take it. It's close enough. And it matches pretty well, too. I actually... I like that. I like that a lot. Let's get rid of this prefab corner. Let's just build it out of its parts. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do? This? No. No, that's going to look real weird. Is this it? No. Window top. Corner. Corner top. It'll, a little, it'll look a little funk, but... It's a funk I can deal with. And this way, both sides match. Which is important to me. Very important to me. For, I don't know, reasons or something. 